the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Dear friends, today we celebrate Easter. And St. Paul said, if Christ is not risen from the dead, our faith is in vain, our preaching is in vain and the resurrection is the foundation of our Christian faith. And as we celebrate this uh, solemnity of Easter, let us once again reaffirm our faith in the resurrection of the Lord. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us life everlasting. Amen. 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 Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path of eternity. Grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your spirit rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, 
who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The sequence. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ, indeed, from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Dear friends, uh, actually I have a uh, Easter joke, but there is uh, nobody to listen to my joke uh, before me. Therefore, the deacon Bill and brother Jake told me they will laugh for my joke. So I'm going to begin this joke. Um, on the, there was a, a third grade uh, Bible class teacher was taking the class for the kids and uh, talking about the crucifixion of Jesus, uh, how Jesus was buried in the tomb with the big stones and covered uh, with the, uh, and he, it was very hard for Jesus to come out of the tomb and uh, he explained about the resurrection, how Jesus came out. Um, and the teacher asked the students, uh, can you just tell me what was the first word when Jesus came out of the tomb? And one little girl raised her hand, and this, the teacher was so excited. And uh, she said, what was the first word? And the little girl said, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so I got my <laughs> deacon Jake to laugh for me. <clears throat> Dear friends, uh, together with uh, Father Ed, Deacon Bill, Brother Jake, I wish you all a very happy Easter. Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen from the dead. Dear friends, the very first Easter was not in a crowded worship space with the singing and praising. On the very first Easter, the disciples were locked in their house. It was dangerous for them to come out. They were afraid. They wanted to believe the good news they heard from the woman, that, that Jesus had risen. But it seemed too good to be true. They were living in a time of such despair and such fear if they left their homes, their lives and the lives of their loved ones might be at risk. Alone in their homes, they dared to believe that hope was possible, that the long night was over and the uh, morning had broken, that God's love was the most powerful, powerful of all. Even though it didn't seem quite real yet, Eventually, they were able to leave their homes when the fear and danger had subsided. They went around celebrating and spreading the good news that Jesus was risen and the love was the most powerful force on earth. This year, we might get the experience, a taste of the first Easter was like, still in our homes, daring to believe that hope is on the horizon. Then after a while, when it is safe for all people, when it is in the most loving choice, 
we will come out gathering together, singing and shouting the good news that God brings life even out of death, that love always has the final say. This year, we might get the closest taste of what the first Easter was like. Maybe for the first time, such a celebration of Holy Week and Easter without public Holy Mass, the COVID-19 pandemic teaches us something very new. We are being called to come home again. These days we are discovering and rediscovering the value of home again. Family is the first place where we learn to walk, where we learn to love. Family is where we get angry, where we learn to forgive. We have time now to come home again. Second, we are being asked to take care of the people outside of our family, the poor, the elderly, the lonely, the widow, the orphan, the one who are grieving of their loved ones. Third, we are being asked to learn to pray again, families where they haven't prayed. Perhaps somewhere on the way we lost faith. Now is the time to learn to pray again. Prayer is not difficult. The prayer is so human. Prayer makes us humble. Learn to pray again together before meals, after meals, when you wake up. Easter is a festival of hope, a festival that God will not disappoint us. We are going to come out of this together as a family. May the peace of the risen Lord dwell in your families, in your hearts. The Lord is risen. As he said, Alleluia. Now we will have the baptismal promises and all those who are watching this broadcast, when I ask the questions of baptismal promises, please respond, I do. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in the newness of life. Now so that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promise of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, has bestowed on us the forgiveness of sins. Keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord in eternal life. Amen. Amen. By His uh, resurrection, Christ has conquered all the stands between us and God. We therefore approach the Father now with great confidence. That we who through baptism have been buried with Jesus may also rise with him and walk in newness of life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a deeper unity among all Christians, 
May we acknowledge together and proclaim to the world the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Jesus, who conquered the power of death, fill our hearts with his spirit, so we always respect and choose life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the risen Christ may bless, guide, strengthen, and protect all people through this pandemic, we pray. Lord, oh Lord, hear our prayer. That we may unite our trials and sufferings to Jesus, trusting always in the power of the resurrection, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died may see the face of our risen Lord and be transformed into his likeness, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers of our parish, for our twin parish, St. Jean de Chantal, for the intentions of this Mass and those intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you have already granted us more than we can ask for in the resurrection of Christ. As you answer our prayer, make us ever more faithful to him who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God. God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive and cleanse me from my heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Prayer, sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord may accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, name for our good and the glory of all his church. church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ, O Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed death rising restored our life so with angels and the archangels the whole company of heaven we sing the unending hymn of praise as we acclaim created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give us life to all things and make them holy and to never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to your setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name 
And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke it, the bread, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which would be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of We celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, as we offer you thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look with prayer upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, and become the body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and with all your saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, or Pope, Walker or Bishop, the order of bishops, clergy, and the entire people you have gathered here of your own. Listen graciously to your prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who were pleasing to you, as their passion from the passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us now pray the prayer Jesus has taught us. Our, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, worries, anxieties, fears. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. forever. Jesus who says, I am the resurrection and the life. All those who believe in me will never die. Blessed are who have called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Jesus bring us life everlasting. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen.
Now we will pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord Jesus, uh, thank you once again for this day, this day of Easter. Thank you for the gift of our family, parents, grandparents, benefactors, friends, and all those who are kind and so gracious to us. Thank you for the gift of faith. And uh, today, as we celebrate the most beautiful celebration of Easter, that Easter brings us hope, Easter brings us joy, and as we are going through this midst of uh, um, sickness, death, anxieties, worries, and you are the one who gives us the true peace, and your Easter peace may dwell in our nation, in our world, that we may have a recovery of sickness and able to experience joy once again in our hearts. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, uh, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God continue to bless us. In the name of the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia. Once again, we wish you all a very happy Easter, and we pray for you especially that you may enjoy the peace and joy of the Son of Lord. Thank you.
paradise.